Hi everybody, Farmer Dave here and we're going to go on a little garden tour. I haven't had one in a while and I'm getting a little bit behind on them so I thought I'd better get one done today. Okay, we're going to start with the, by the front entrance of the house here and we have our patch of apple mint which is doing really good. we got some peonies that are getting ready to bloom, some irises that are blooming, they're just beautiful. Delphiniums aren't doing much. But we also have some Siberian irises back here that are just blooming and they're just beautiful too. And the poppies are getting big buds on them, getting ready to bloom. We got our coral bells, our Usheria, they're doing pretty good. Our is doing really great. All the seedings are doing okay, they're getting they need a little weeding. I wanted to show you this uh, columbine here that came up on its own. It's Got a double flower, it's really beautiful. And here we got our, I'm not sure how to say this, it's Anna Dogla, Dogla Viburnum. It's a Viburnum. It's really beautiful flowers on that. And we got our wild type of columbine back there with our hostas and our uh, ferns growing great. The annual flower garden hasn't been planted yet. Our uh, perennial Bachelor Buttons got uh, messed up by the dog here. Lilac here is almost done. Come around here and we got our Virginia water leaf, which is blooming pretty good. I think that's what that is. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a pretty flower. And the tulips are almost done. Peonies are coming along pretty good. Bee balm's doing all right. Everything's coming up good. And then we have our white bleeding heart and the bee seems to be loving it and come around here and got the iris is ready to be blooming and ladies mantle is doing good and walk past the red prince pygelia which is budding but not flowering yet and the many waterers which are just sitting there and go past and i want to show you the prairie smoke the prairie smoke is doing really good isn't that pretty and then we got more peonies and irises. These irises aren't blooming yet obviously. Then we got our regular bleeding heart here and that's just blooming like mad and we got our little Chinese berry back here which is doing good. I'm not sure of the name of that. But then we got our edible choke cherry here which has got quite a production for being its second year. And then we got our little weed patch here. I thinned out some of the weeds but I left the milkweed in the bladder wart just because the bladder warts are kind of pretty and the milkweed always attracts monarch butterflies and we have our alliums they're flowering and doing great and there really isn't much there the one last final little tulip there and we come here our bridal wreath spirea which I love the smell of and it's not real strong but it's really pretty and we come around here into the herb garden and here we have the lovage that's blooming really good. We have dill coming up everywhere. The Egyptian walking onions. We have chervil, which came up from seed, which is doing good. Tansy, which is kind of weedy. I don't know if I'd recommend it. And uh, rosemary, which I've just planted. I grow that as an annual. The parsley, which some critter has been eating off. A big patch of fennel coming up from seed, which I have to thin out, which is doing good. The French sorrel, which is getting ready to bloom here. The chives, which is blooming. The tarragon in the back. The oregano, and then we got our thyme down below. A few weeds in there, and we got our big sage bush here coming to town. And our Virginia creeper vine is doing kind of nice. That's got a beautiful red color in the fall. Our honeysuckle vine is getting ready to bloom. So is the other one, which is a little bit behind it. We have our onions down here, which need a little bit of weeding, and we got a few, a little patch here that came up on its own that I let go just to see what it was. And turns out it's a mustard, so I really don't know if I wanted to keep it or not. The lettuce is doing okay. The spinach is coming up and doing all right. Radishes didn't do too good, but it was old seed. And the turnips are growing. They need weeding. A weed patch in the middle because 
the, what I planted didn't come up. The peas need weeding. They're doing all right. The garlic needs weeding bad. It's getting to the point where I'm falling behind on my weeding and I got to get to work on it. I just wanted to come over here and show you the high bush cranberry, which is blooming away. It's really pretty. And over in the back, back here by the swing set, we got the Canadian lilac, which is just starting to bloom. And then we got the beauty of Moscow lilac, which is pretty much done. It's getting done or in, anyway. And then we have the little oak tree, which my brother and I planted a few years ago. And then we got our little seedling red oak that the little bunny rabbits ate off, but it's coming back. And uh, back here we have our Kentucky coffee tree, which is doing good. I, it takes it a while to get going, but it's it's surviving pretty good. The grapevines are pruned back. I got two little ones planted where you don't see anything. They're, they'll be coming up, hopefully, taking their place. And that's our garden tour for today. I'm not gonna show you the big vegetable garden because there really isn't much to show. And there, because I haven't planted anything yet, I'll wait until Memorial Day to plant that. Thank you.